Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minimap. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative 3 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 6 minus the square root of 5. Okay. Well, normally first I try to see, can I break down any of these square roots? And the only one I'm maybe uh, thinking about is maybe the square root of 6. The square root of 6 is really, or 6 is just 2 times 3. Right? It's the only really way I can break it down there, is so that's excuse me, times 1. Well, the square root of 2 and the square root of 3 don't really do anything. I can't like simplify that anymore, so the square root of 6 is the most simplest form there. So after that, I'm like, okay, oh, well, I see the square roots of 5s. So I can combine them together. So we can either A, try to rearrange this, or B, uh, try to do it from here. Um, I'm going to rearrange it, so I'm going to bring the... Uh, uh, bring the minus square root of 5 over here, so negative 3 square root of 5. Uh, let's make it, you know, if we make it with a plus and negative, plus and negative square root of 5 there. And then we have minus square root of 6 right there. Okay? So, sometimes it's a little easier to see it as a plus and negative, so I brought this minus square root of 5 right here as a plus and negative square root of 5. So now, <clears throat> we have uh, negative 3 square root of 5 plus uh, negative square root of 5. Well, since they are the same square root of 5 there, we can combine the coefficients, well, not coefficients, the numbers out in front. Negative 1 right there, and negative 3 gives me a negative 4. So we have negative 4, the square root of 5, minus, bring down the square root of 6, and there we go. Our final answer here, negative 4 square root of 5 minus the square root of 6. So let's recap. We're given negative 3 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 6 minus the square root of 5. If you can do it from here, you can see the minus square root of 5 with the minus square root of a minus 3 square root of 5 and combine them to get that minus 4 square root of 5. But I kind of rearranged it here to help maybe bring it together so you can see it. It's really up to you and how comfortable you are uh, with the algebra here. But anyway, we have to combine the ones that have the same square roots. Square root of 6 can't simplify and for that matter, square root of 5 can't as well. So we just combine them to get our final answer here of negative 4 square root of 5 minus the square root of 6.